Business enterprises will be participating in the third Tabalaza pitching program. Now this is brought to you by the Provincial Department of Economic, Small Business Development, Tourism and Environmental Affairs. And this is happening all at Bopelo House. Now the SMMEs are given an opportunity to present what they made up on and also try to reel in investors. Let us go inside. I'm the managing director of Triple uh, M Electronics, and uh, currently we're having uh, four permanent employees, and I have also two students. Uh, my company is providing engineering solutions to all manufacturing companies. It's like to help conscious people. Um, make up the next slide. Thank you. My customer segments include. Health conscious people, specifically if I'm going to specify it, it's young professionals who are health conscious or health centric or health focused that are looking for convenience. That includes now your parents that have, don't have time to make lunch boxes for instance for their kids. Um, that they can come to Berry Greenery and can have a schedule to deliver food to their children or they can come in to pick up the food. So it's convenience, it's healthier, it's more balanced meals. Um, what I did not mention now, sorry, is that the problem in this is that I come from Bethlehem in the Free State and Bethlehem in the Free State, um, I realized that um, as a wellness, as a fitness coach um, and also as a customer for Berry Greenery, someone who's always looking for convenience, always looking to look, um, eat healthy because I train a lot, um, there is no, there is no outlet that caters to people like that. So I come from a company named Legatron Electronics and we do customized asset tracking solutions. Without being technical, the whole concept of, of tracking a vehicle, we took that concept, reverse engineered it, and then we basically took it into smaller bits in terms of the components that are lying next to you and we are able to track machinery, computers, uh, anything that is deemed valuable uh, by the company. Children as well? Children as well. We can go as small as that. Now, um, in terms of it, what we basically do is that we, for stolen assets, the misuse and abuse of assets, uh, and the loss of assets, because company loss of assets, it's, it's, it's quite prominent and it's expensive. So instead of companies having to repurchase assets, then we can just recover those assets. Um, in terms of the systems, uh, we're fully functional of the various systems, financial management systems, your QMS systems. We are um, accredited with the Telesure Group uh, that have companies such as your first form woman, uh, Dow Direct, uh, and various others. Um, basically, the value proposition is we offer 50 mil Coca loan that lasts over two months. Um, it gives the user uh, the, the control to spray as much as they need in the car. It is safe, we have tested it. And as I mentioned, Sassel developed the product, so we did it according to standards. And we're proudly South African. Um, what makes us different to the competitors is we use scent technology. So instead of the fruity scents in the market, we wanted to have something a bit more uh, designer, and that's what we aimed for here today. Um, the other problem with the competitors is that the bottles actually leak onto the dash, and then it um, damages the dashboard, then you have to replace it. Whereas with our product, I sprayed it into my own car, and it doesn't damage anything. We are in the business of selling confidence, style, and comfort in the form of shoes, um, white fit shoes for women with white fit problems. Izito is a Zulu word for calves, which in an African context is attractive legs of a woman. Christian Louboutin says that shoes transform your body language and attitude. They lift you physically and emotionally. So um, since I was young, I was chubby and didn't have shoes that fit that are stylish. So I grew up having that problem and I thought to myself, let me just fix the shoes that I buy. Until one day, <clears throat> I got on YouTube and I taught myself how to make shoes because I wanted thigh highs that fit. So I cut off my jeans and I made this first shoe, which was big enough to fit my thunder thighs. <laughs> so I walked around there's a picture there of me wearing them, but it's going fast. I walked around and everybody was like, you found thigh highs, where did you get them? And I was like, no, I made them. So everybody was like, please make for me. The Department of Trade and Industry had a program that took young industrialists to China. We applied and we got chosen to go. And we trained intensively for three months, learning 
footwear technology, design and manufacturing. So we came back. Take it, take it. <laughs> <laughs> we came back and um, we established contacts there. Since we came back last year, they've been helping us to develop a last because the lasts used now are of European design. They're quite narrow and people struggle. So, um, this is the last that makes a normal shoe. So, they're developing our last and we'll be having them by the end of November where they've used technology to get the average thick. Um, <laughs> we've got two employees. We make an average of, well, each employee makes two pairs a week. We make 24 pairs a month. It costs us 450 rand for one pair. I am here, we're busy pitching um, the double laser program, which has started in 2017. It's now the third year of the program. Where it all started, it was to pitch uh, for free state businesses, to pitch to the stakeholders and um, eventually to the investors. So uh, since 2018, it started as a program and we call it a program because it has many faces. It has trainings within it just to ensure that people who win um, are also trained. So we've got two types of training. The, the, there is the um, pitching training, which usually happens before the pitching day. Last year we had it for, for three days. Um, this year we had one yesterday for the people who will be pitching today. They were trained um, by EBL Institute, which is um, associated with the University of Free State. So after this, it's the pitching. So everybody who's shortlisted from the districts um, will be trained on the pitching skills and we then there will be winners from each district, three winners from each. Those who won, the three that won from each district will be further trained um, into business training. They'll be given business training. It's a 10 module training that um, takes place for about 10 weeks. And then the other two weeks will just be for uh, just checking that they're able to apply the training into their own business. And then at the end, which will be in February 2020, there will be a grand finalist session. So in this pitching today, and there are two more coming in the next two weeks for, for literally Butsua and Kharib. Today we've got three districts, which is Mangawung, Tabomufutsenyana, as well as Fezile Dabi. So after, after that, we will combine them. They will compete against each other and pitch in the grand finale in 2020, February 2020. So in terms of funding, there are two types of funding. Each district has been allocated funds, um, but that is not entitlement. It depends whether they are they're winners. What I'm saying that is there will be three winners from each district. The first prize is 300,000, the second is 250, then you've got the third at 150. And then um, the, the three winners from each district, if we get three, because the panels are entitled not to give um, funding if they or, or prizes if they realize that um, they are not qualifying businesses. So like last year, we had only two winners in Literally Buddha and two winners in, in Kharib only because they couldn't find the third winner. So they are entitled to do that um, because we don't want to give funding money only even where it's not due. Uh, so this will be the first part of the the prizes. The second prize will be the grand finale, which is 800,000. The, the three winners will be competing. The three winners from each district will be competing and only one winner will get the 800,000 grand finale prize. I was selected because I'm the regional manager of the National Employment Fund in the province. The criteria that we were looking at when we were assessing the, the presenters today 
we wanted to see the, the business proposals, the quality of business proposals that they are putting forward. What kind of products will they be making? Are they ready for the market? The prices that they'll be charging? What was important as well will be the jobs that will be created with the introduction of the Gabalaza funding, if anyone gets it and so on. It was important that um, a business will be able to create jobs, which is what is currently uh, a crisis in the province. Uh, we wanted the funds to have an impact in the community where the business is operating for. Apart from that, uh, we were also asked to see if the business will, will be fundable. Therefore, it's important that the business will show profit margins or will show that it will be able to generate enough income. In case debt is introduced to the business, will the business be able to carry the debt? Not only that, because some of um, the adjudicators were uh, offering grant funding. Uh, so whether it's debt or, 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 or loans uh, or, or grant, we wanted to see that should anything be introduced into the business, the, the owners and the staff, the business will be able to carry its month to month activities. So that was the job of the day. I'm glad I'm here. We've seen a lot of proposals, good, interesting uh, proposals. We've seen improvements from the previous years. I'm glad. Uh, uh, so it's good prospects. Uh, this year we've done very well. Thank you so much. About 30% of the population actually take regular blood checkups. So now that, ladies and gentlemen, is the reason for our <coughs> existence. MHP Labs, like I said before, is a mobile diagnostic lab that specializes in point of care services. What that does is that we test any blood ailments from your blood glucose, cholesterol, HIV, anything you want to test, and you, you get your results immediately within a um, few minutes. All right, so this business idea came about upon seeing how many people actually um, wait um, in, in queues for a long time to give in their blood groups, and sometimes also they have to wait in for long hours or even return the following day to obtain their blood results. So, so that can only be diagnosed and treated for the, for the illnesses much quicker. We literally really just want to grow and increase our services. And we believe with the Tabalaza grant, we'll be able to purchase and procure more equipment than that so that we can increase our services, um, service the people, um, provide our services to the people, and as well as um, um, increase the number of people, staff members, that we're going to employ as currently we just have two leads that are doing the job with us. So ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, thank you so much. Okay, now as you can see right now, it is all emotions, all happiness, no bootle or wanted. I mean, she does shoes for a living right now. Girl, how do you feel? <laughs> I can't believe it. Um, I was very nervous during the pitch and I didn't think I was hurt. But I won. So this is great because then I get to make more shoes, which people want. So, yeah, I'm very grateful for Tabalaza and Dastia for the opportunity. And probably brought in the market because now you're not catering exactly. to me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, but, yeah, then we get to make more of what we love because people have been saying, we also want, but we've been making a few. So now we stand a chance to make more. And it's amazing. <laughs> this is the reaction that we actually want to see and from us to the TV and everybody here. I mean, like, we congratulate you. Thank you. And from MHP Labs now, standing alongside me, I call her Didi, but she goes by the name of Sylvia now. <laughs> so you're the second runner-up. You got yourself some cash, you know, for your business. How are you feeling? Oh my word, it's so unbelievable. Like, dude, like, I'm shocked. <laughs> like, you could see it's only by the support, I'm telling you. I just want to 
find out your, your initial emotions immediately when they called your name. I just want to find out how how were you, how did you feel? I was like, I couldn't believe it. I was like, stop. I was like, wait, what? Really? Did I hear correctly? Was, did they call my name? But I'm so thankful. Oh my gosh. Oh my word. I'm like, no words can describe how happy I am. Like, I'm just like, so thankful. Oh my gosh. Oh my word. I'm like, no words can describe how I feel right now. Because I'm just so happy. <laughs> so tell me, what are you going to use your finances for? I understand it's for equipment, but if you could be specific on the type of equipment that you're going to need with the money. Okay. Because I have a mobile diagnostic lab, right? so we're going to use the money to purchase more equipment that will actually enable me to provide more services because I want to add on different services that I currently have right now. Yeah, so I can add services to more people, right? So now this is our very own mobile lab if you want to test in everywhere. I mean, you know who to call your girl right here. She has won. Well, my name is Tata Davis and I'm reporting for Tata TV. This is brought to you by Bombenero Investments in conjunction with the Free State Provincial Government. And this is how we sign out. <laughs>